Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying our Bibles. We're looking at them one chapter at a time, and what I'm doing is I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter and sharing those with you to help you out. Today we're looking at Psalm 115. The ultimate test of your loyalty to a relationship is your focus on it. For example, a married man is a one-woman man. When they say yes to one another, they're saying no to all others. In the same way, God calls us to be a one God worshiper. Psalm 115 verse 1 starts, Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your loving kindness, because of your truth. When you commit your life to Jesus, you're vowing to worship Christ alone. The proof of our focus on who or what we are worshiping is that we will become like it. God designed us to be his image bearers. You can read that in Genesis 1, verses 26 to 27. To fulfill this intent in and through our lives, he gives us his Holy Spirit to conform us into the image of his son, Jesus Christ. Read Romans 8, verse 29. Jesus is the image of of the invisible God, Colossians 1, verse 15. Therefore, for this very reason, God calls us into a relationship with himself through Jesus Christ to be the light of the world, because a city on a hill is to reflect the glory of God, Matthew 5, verses 14 to 16. There is a grave danger in losing focus. When you lose focus, you no longer reflect the one you are designed to become like in the first place. Psalm 115 verses 4 to 8 explains the process, and I quote, Their idols are silver and gold, the work of man's hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have noses, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel. They have feet, but they cannot walk. They cannot make a sound with their throat. Those who make them will become like them, everyone who trusts in them. Seize the moment and pray Psalm 115, meditating upon the loving kindness of the Lord. Remove from your life today that which distracts you from true worship of God. Seize the moment.